Hey everyone, okay, I'm back. Sorry for the delay. Let's talk about Raw. Full disclosure, I missed about the first hour of Raw because and I will probably next week also because I had hot yoga and then, trust me, I needed to shower. Okay, so from what I saw in Raw, um, I'm a little confused about the Liv Morgan segment, backstage segment with... Um, Look here. Uh, 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 I, like, I can't talk anymore. You know what I mean. Um, like, it was okay. Um, I mean, it's set up that she was there, but we already had set up that she was there. And then we had that promo with her and Becky. Um, I personally love Becky. You know that. I think Becky's great. I feel like Becky probably had the upper hand in that, but... I don't feel like either came off that strong at the end of that promo, quite honestly. I felt like Liv didn't believe what she was saying a little bit. That was just my interpretation of it. Um, Match-wise, I got... It just left me some hard truth. We all know I was going to say it. I was bopping. I was dancing. I even had my husband doing the what's up during the entrance. Um... I really do think the wrapping is thank you to Brian James, the road dog, Jesse James, because he loved that about Ron Killings when he first started with him. And so I just love it. I love him. Protect him at cost. You hear me say this every week, but I do love him. Um, I like almost forgot the pay-per-view was this weekend. Well, the premium live event. Sorry, I'm old school. I still probably slip and call it that. Uh, yeah, like. I feel like, I don't know, I'm not loving this king and queen in the ring. And I don't know, it's because we came off of such an amazing WrestleMania that this is like falling flat for me. I'm sure once we get there, don't worry, I'll watch it on Saturday and I will review it, that I'll love it. But I'm just kind of like, mm. um, Lyra, that's who Liv's backstage segment was with. I am really happy for her. I feel like of all the people who have come up from NXT, they're giving her a really decent purse push. Um, the Braun Breaker thing, like, I, I don't get why he attacked Ricochet. I, I just kind of confused. I feel like I'm kind of confused about Ricochet's role right now. I feel like they're not using him well. Um, yeah, so let's fix what's going on with Ricochet, personally, my opinion. Um, outside of that, like I said, like the tag team match. Um, I feel like, you know, I they're doing the slow burn with Judgment Day. Um, but I feel like they had like some pieces falling into place right after WrestleMania and after Rhea left. But now I kind of feel like, like, did they forget about it? Are they like lulling us into false sense of security? I don't know. But I'm like waiting for the Liv and Dominic Mysterio stuff to happen. I'm wait I'm just waiting, I feel like, for Judgment Day to fall apart. And I don't know when it's gonna happen until so maybe that's what they want. But I'm kinda like, okay, I thought we were going this route and now I'm not so sure. Um Yeah, so those are my big takeaways from Raw this week. I am interested to see the Liv Morgan match and Becky match. I feel like Becky's just great in the ring. It should be a good match. I am excited about Cody. You know I'm a Cody crybaby, so uh, looking forward to SmackDown. And, I, you know, after Paris, I mean, not after Paris, after Leon France's crowd was so insane, I feel like Saudi Arabia will be a letdown because I feel like just as – We've seen that they're a lot more quiet and they don't cheer. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be very different from our last PLE, which was just that crowd made that PLE. We all know it. We all loved it. Uh, so, yeah. And then I was a little bummed about Jay Uso. So, this is why I think it's happening. I said, if Gunther wins, Randy Orton's going to win. That's my opinion. I thought if Jay Uso went, Tomatango would win because then um Tomatango you know who I mean one of those two um because I thought that might what I thought was happening I thought it was gonna be Jay versus his cousin and then his brother would come out and see him because where has his brother been where is Jimmy he got beat down once and we have yet to see him again 
Anyways, that was my opinion. I think that's what they're building to. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but I guess not because Jay's not going to be in King of the Ring now. Uh, so yeah, I, that kind of surprised me. I didn't think that would be the way they would go. But I also think it's hard to beat Gunther. Um, and also, I don't know why I feel like the NXT people, because I don't watch NXT. I know Lyra, because I did watch the Becky and her fight back whenever that was, but, and I know Carmella, because he's been shown, and Braun Breaker, of course, has been on for a while, but I feel like they're, like, getting lost in the shuffle. I feel like a lot of people are getting lost in the shuffle right now. Like, that whole thing with New Day and the Final Testament, I don't know what that is, not really sure, um, but as you all know, I think Scarlett is gorgeous, and I want to know who does her makeup, and I want every outfit she wears, so... If only I was skinny enough. Um, so I just like seeing her on camera. But there's a lot of things that I don't know. I feel like they're setting up a lot of things for June, like leading up to probably SummerSlam, right? Because that's the next of the major four PLEs to happen. So those are my opinions about Raw. Sorry I'm a day late. I promise I will get Friday Night SmackDown up on Saturday morning before... <laughs> We all are watching King and Queen in the Ring. Um, for me, it's at 1 o'clock um, from Saudi Arabia. All right. But that's all for now. Thank you all so much. Thanks for bearing with me. Life's a little crazy right now. And as a reminder, uh, I'm competing for Mrs. New York America on June 2nd. I do not have the live stream information yet. As soon as I have it, I will post it. Um, but thank you all for understanding because life's been a little hectic lately and I just appreciate all the love and support um, on wrestling content, but also just on my life. So thank you all. All right.